Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to update the login page for your hotspot sign-in page inside Mercotip. This is important because we will be doing some major updates for the MAC address, whereby a user can pay uh, for different devices using the same phone number. First, navigate to the hotspot settings in your free LSP radius dashboard. Once you're in the hotspot settings, you will see this page where you can edit or customize your hotspot login page. For the title, we will write here, use demo, and for the tagline, you can leave it as it is for now or customize it, customize it later. Next, select the router option. For uh, our case, let's choose demo as the router. On your end, you will select the correct router that you want to update. You can leave the default settings or edit any elements you want, like here, we can edit the contact number. Remember, any changes you make here will appear on the login page. For the color scheme, let's choose red for now. Once you're satisfied with the changes, click save changes. After saving the changes, click on here to download the login page, download and make sure the file name as login.html. It's crucial that this login or this file is named correctly. If you have multiple files named login.html in your explorer, delete them to avoid any confusion and save the new file as login.html. For easier uploading, it's helpful to have two tabs open. One, uh, one when you are inside Winbox and one for your file explorer. This way you can access both windows side by side and for easy drag and dropping. Minimize the windows so you can see both the Mercotic interface and your file explorer simultaneously. Open your, fi your file explorer to locate the saved login.html file. Then drag and drop it to your file section in Winbox. You will see other hotspot files listed there. Our goal is to re replace the existing login.html file with a new one. To do this, drag and drop the new login.html file into the files list in Mercotic. This action will replace the old file with the updated version. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out.